It is 855 on your Wednesday, 60 degrees outside. Here's Marty. Mild and humid with a cold front coming in on that. Perfect recipe for getting thunderstorms later. We're seeing some showers out of the 70 quarter. It's only a matter of time before thunderstorms blossom west and move east. 67 is going to be the high. Christy, wrap it up. Take it away. Well, Marty, we're seeing some big problems on the Beltway now. Behind me, you see the Greenspring Avenue camera. On the outer loop, we do have a crash there blocking the two right-hand lanes just past Greenspring. That's what's causing that delay. Now, the top side of the Beltway, also heavy Bel Air Road to Harford Road. A little bit of relief, and then you hit the accident again at Greenspring Avenue. Now, moving over to crashes, the outer loop of the Beltway at Peninsula Expressway, 95 southbound at Key Highway, and also watch for the crash northbound 295 at 175. Back to you. Thanks, Christy. Maryland is making strides in getting people vaccinated. Close to 4 million doses have been given out, and more than 1.5 million Marylanders are fully vaccinated. Efforts continue despite the state being down one brand of the vaccine, the one produced by Johnson & Johnson. Today, Governor Larry Hogan will give an update on the state's coronavirus fight. And you can watch that live right here on WJZ at 2.30 p.m. You can also watch it on our website, WJZ.com.